Our brand new cycle of basic space lands is now available for purchase at www.itresolvesmtg.com. What's up, guys? Welcome to part two with this mono green ozolith list. Uh, really, really enjoying this list so far. Uh, if you if you missed part one, please do check it out. Uh, we kind of go over the deck a little bit, but uh, also you can kind of see us play a few of these awesome games. Uh, so far, I believe we have won two and lost one. Uh, unfortunately, we did get one loss, but it was actually relatively close. I think we were okay the next turn, but either way, uh, this is an interesting hand. We're going to try it. Um, worth noting, anytime we see a companion like this, uh, unfortunately... Maybe I'm not, unfortunately, we're not going to be seeing too much of those in the near future, so uh, at least in the same capacity. So, uh, we'll uh, these may not be the most realistic test considering things will be changing very soon, but we're going to try it. Uh, this is a very interesting elementals list, I'm guessing, uh, which is perfectly, perfectly fine. Um, hmm, let's just bond of flourishing, I think, here. Uh, and we'll take an Ozolith. Uh, we'll pass. Ozolith, I think, is the right call here. Uh, next turn, potentially. We'll we'll see what we end up doing. But uh, Ozolith is a really a good card to have on the field early uh, for any removal that the opponent may have. Um, Risen Reef, huh? So they may be short on lands here uh, if they didn't play a land first. Uh, but it looks like they got theirs. Um... Oh, no, they were not. They just wanted to tap that way. That's interesting. Um, let's do this. Hmm. I think what we're going to do is go ahead and get rid of that Risen Reef because uh, really not a good thing to have Risen Reef on the field uh, if we can help it. So we're going to we're gonna try every opportunity to get rid of it for sure. My fiance was kind enough uh, on her way home today to grab me a Coke. I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate her. She's phenomenal. Um, all right. Let's see. Interesting. Thundergan Awakener. Well, that brings back. Uh, that's pretty good synergy. Not going to lie. But we'll see. Um, I like the elementals is kind of making a comeback though. I do. I, I will say that. I think it's very cool. Sure. Uh, worth noting though, for all of this that they've been doing, we've gained a life, essentially. Um, but it is, you know, obviously a very strong deck. No, no, no doubt about that. Um, let's do this and let's do this. Just gonna pump both of these guys up really quick, um, and we'll pass. Uh, unfortunately, not a great attacking position because of this Leafkin Druid. It's just gonna kind of sit there and block. But this does allow us to get a lot of counters out on the field. So if our stuff does die, um, we certainly have a way to, you know, if they Chandra, we've got a way to keep all the counters on it, uh, and then play out Stone Coil Serpent and really, really go ham. So we will see. We will see. Uh, next turn, depending on what we draw, we'll probably just play out the Stone Coil Serpent here, uh, and then hopefully be able to attack him with a lot of stuff. Um, but obviously that'll depend on, you know, what we draw and everything. Very good. Very good. Synergy is awesome. Uh, and they're about to get Risen Reef back again. Uh, interesting. This doesn't exile it, does it? No, just sacrifice. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Okay. So this is really the big problem card that we're going to be needing to deal with. So getting like a ram through or uh, something like that would be phenomenal. Um, we'll see. They may not attack in here. I, I'm not sure. <clears throat> Depends what their follow-up play is. Um, worth noting that, you know, they can attack with this and get something back, but it's really not the best thing if, if you, uh, if you end up losing this in the process. So, uh, okay. Uh, 
I mean, they're getting tons of value here, no doubt about that. Arboreal Grazer, sure. Interesting list here, guys. Very interesting. Um, I mean, it's it's fairly standard elementals, but oops. Okay, see what they want to do. All right, good. Uh, they did not want to attack. That's phenomenal. Uh, okay. In that case, I think we just play Yervo. Um, is that correct? Yes, I think so. Um, get a couple counters here. Uh, I think we're going to wait on the Stone Coil Serpents. Is that right, though? Yes, I think so. Um, they're looking, we're not going to attack either. They're looking to play like a Chandra or something. Um, the big Chandra, Inferno Awakened or whatever. Um, and so we do have to be very careful of that. Um, they also, yes, just Kahira itself is very, very good in this. So going to have to be able to block. Wow. Okay. Genesis Ultimatum. You got it. Maybe we'll test out an Elementals deck like this. It's very sweet. Uh, we did a Mirror March version, but it was a little, a little different. Okay. Well... Yeah. Um, hmm. <laughs> Gonna be a problem. Gonna be a big problem. I think we just lose. I don't think we can save ourselves here, right? No. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and pass. Um, man. Very interesting. I don't, th I think we were correct to play a bit defensively there. Um, you know, thinking about it, if they, if we just had no creatures to block, we would have been in much worse shape. Uh, but unfortunately they went wide so hard that it was <laughs> very difficult for us to, uh, to be able to come back from that. So that's okay. Uh, game one, we didn't get there, but two more to go. Hopefully we can get at least one or two wins with this, uh, off of this video. Uh, and again, make sure if you want to see more action with this deck, you check out the first one. Uh, I'm hoping we can show off the power level of not only the Ozolith, but also Vivian. Um, Vivian is such a, a powerful card in a deck like this. Now, uh, some of them are a little bit, I, I would argue some decks are a little stronger uh, utilizing Vivian because you get a little bit more of the dense creature base. Um, this has a, a dense creature base, so don't get me wrong there, but uh, a lot of times you can just start playing the top of your deck like two or three times a turn uh, in the right deck, uh, which is really, really sweet. I mean, it's awesome. Uh, we'll see what the opponent here wants to do. Looks like our frames are doing okay, so we're going to stay in this one. Um, also, guys, uh, let me know your thoughts. I mentioned it at the end of part one, uh, but I just wanted to mention it again here. Um, if uh, if you're interested in seeing more of like the talking head style video where we, we kind of pick a topic and we kind of ramble on it for a little bit, let me know. Uh, we uh, we used to do a series called the Weekly Ramble where that was what we did, uh, and we're happy to do that again. But uh, at the time, at least, that was not a very popular uh, video or, or series of videos, and so we didn't actually, you know, stick around with it too long. Um, if that is something you're interested in seeing, though, we'd like to know just so we can bring it back. They're actually very fun to record, uh, in my opinion. So I'm super in. Uh, I just want to make sure that you know. We're doing it because you guys enjoy it. If not, then there's very little, very little we actually would like to, uh, or very little need to actually do it. <clears throat> All right, there we go. I was wondering what the opponent was doing there. Still kind of taking a little while. Uh, interesting. Okay, we're going to keep. Uh, the plan will be to pet Pelt Collector first. Uh, the Ozolith is a good turn one, but I'd rather get the creature down first and then hopefully be able to pull up some counters on it uh, while we play the Ozolith later. So that's kind of the plan. <laughs> Opponent is taking quite a long time to make decisions here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Good. Cool arts. 
on the uh, land there. I'm kind of thinking we might concede out just because this is like super, super slow play. Um, I, I hate this. I'm not saying that they're doing this intentionally, but if they are, that's a very frustrating tactic. I never like when people do that. Um, just, just play. It's, it's a game. Just, we're here to play. Uh, that's fine. Let's go ahead and get a uh, pelt collector out here. Um... Gem rays are going to be really worth it later on uh, in a deck like this to, to fight like a witch's oven. Um, so we'll try and keep that in mind. Most likely they're going to be running something like a witch's oven. So Bonds of Flourishing actually going to be quite helpful to just gain us some life. Obviously not going to block. No reason to. And we'll see what they want to play. Oh, nothing. Okay. Um... Let's go ahead and Barkhide Troll here. Uh, next turn, we'll look to Ozolith and Bond of Flourishing, depending on what they do. Um, very possible they steal our stuff and try and sacrifice it, which is not going to be good, but uh, we do have to play to our deck a little bit, and that's the strength of our deck, is to play out all these creatures, so we're going to do the best we can to do that. Um, love our little, our little pet. He's so cute. Okay. Definitely don't like that card. Um, let's do this. Let's do this. And let's go ahead and bond a flourishing here. Um, I think we take the Crystalline Giant here. And we'll attack in. Chances are they're not going to block. There's no way they would. Um, but we are, we are looking to be a bit more aggressive, uh, especially in a matchup like this where eventually the assumption is, you know, if they've got the Witch's Oven combo, which... The, uh, again, I'm assuming a little bit, but it, considering this is a sacrifice deck, I think it's a fair assumption to make. Um, it's good for us to be attacking in. Problem card, for sure. Uh, let's play this out. Go ahead and move to attacks. Has trample. Okay. I'm going to swing in. <coughs> Chances are they're not going to block. There's no reason they really need to with the priest. Um, my assumption is they're going to play out some other like serrated scorpion-esque creature and then use it to sacrifice with the priest. Uh, sure. Um, that just gives them a lot more options. It's a very strong thing. Wow. Okay. Yeah. You got it. Uh, so now they can sacrifice this and this, make us kill this uh, after they attack with it. Wow, it has lifelink now, too. Goodness gracious. Yep. Very powerful. Very, very powerful, no doubt. Okay, we're about to lose our board, unfortunately. Uh... I honestly don't know what we can do. Um, unfortunately, claim the firstborn is very, very good. Now that Gem Razor does get around it, but Gem Razor does not get around Priest, uh, which is pretty crucial. Uh, we do get a counter over here, which is nice, um, but it's going to be a tricky one. And no reason, obviously, to give this hex proof. We actually want the counter to go to the Ozolith anyway, so. And at five life left, this is not looking good for us, for sure. Yep, there's a the copycat, or the culture familiar, goodness. Um, there's like no way we can win, right? We can play four, then one. Yeah, all right. Gonna go ahead and concede out here. Whew, unfortunately, that was a rough, rough game. Uh, played right into their hand a little bit, so that kind of sucks, but... It's fine. Let's jump into game three. Hopefully we can get one win this video. Um, I think what I'm realizing is, uh, uh, and and maybe this is just my lack of experience with the Ozolith in particular, but uh, the Ozolith, while very, very powerful, um, I think takes away from the ability to, not hugely, but it takes away from some of the ability to just go ham with a bunch of creatures. Um, and I don't know if that's correct or not. Um, We'll try this. Uh, we've got a nice two, three, four. 
which is very, very good. Uh, these are like very prime. It'd be the only thing better would be to have a pelt collector instead of like the gem razor. Um, and depending on the deck, gem razor is obviously fantastic as well. So we'll see. Uh, steam vents could be a lot of things. So we'll we'll find out. Hopefully this turn, or hopefully not. Maybe they just don't play anything. <laughs> Uh, ram through. Okay. We're gonna play this out. Uh, they could easily have, like, an Essence Scatter or something along those lines. Or a Quench. Yep. Okay. Let's attack. Uh, really, really need a land. <laughs> no doubt. Um, but hopefully we get there. Look at that. Uh, let's try for the Questing Beast. Chances are this doesn't resolve. Yep. Very counter-heavy deck. Uh, let's swing in. The one thing I will say, if they're countering one thing, they're not dealing with the other. Um, and as, as good as Questing Beast is, I'd almost just rather keep this pressure going. Um, let's get Pelt Collector. That's why I'm doing these things pre-combat, by the way. I'm going to leave up the mana for Bark Hydro. see what they want to do. Ram through very good because if they were to flash out a creature for instance we could always just ram through that creature. Uh sure. Counter burn. Heavy heavy counter burn. Makes sense. It's a good deck. It's a very sweet deck for sure. Uh my turn. Cool. But these ram throughs are really not getting there. Um, I'm holding on to the gym razor a little bit, but we are going to go ahead and attack in. Uh, let's try for this. Oops. This is going to eat a counter. My assumption is at least. Um, I'm, and this is technically like the worst time to do this. So, uh, but I'd rather eat some more counters here. They've had three counters and a shock. Okay. We can eat that, so that's actually fine. If they do have a counter. Oh, no. That sucks. I hope we draw a creature. <laughs> <clears throat> well, we did. It's about the best creature we could have drawn, too. Hitting them for four. Um... The way it ran through works, I believe it just gives that, or it death touches, so it actually does work, but we'll, we'll find out. Alright. Let's do this. Let's do it again. They didn't block? Oh, they can't. Duh. <laughs> All right. Well, there we go. We got a win. Uh, fantastic. We finally got there. Uh, that was... The first two games were pretty rough. My goodness. But uh, let's kind of summarize the deck. So first of all, uh, do I like this mono green list? Yes. Do I like it as much as other mono green lists that we have played? I don't think quite as much. I think we've got... a we, We've played like three, I think, mono green lists since Akoria was released, um, all of which I really enjoyed, and this one I really enjoyed, but I think uh, some of those other lists were a little bit stronger. I think in particular the mutate list was very, very good. Uh, just being able to uh, to really gain extra value off of everything was pretty awesome, uh, and Auspacious Styrex is stupid, stupid good. Um, this list is very powerful. I think it's very good at threatening a lot of things, but uh, on a go-wide strategy, it doesn't get there quite as much. We saw it especially against the elementals list really just get outpowered because we can't block but so much uh, and they're faster. Uh, and so we really have to be careful there. But regardless, I do really enjoy this list. I think if you've got some mono green lists already uh, or a mono green list, you can pretty easily convert this over and just kind of try it out uh, if you happen to enjoy it. 
try it for a little bit, play it, see how it goes. Uh, the Ozolith is an interesting card for sure. We really didn't get to see it do its thing, but um, I do think we got to see Vivian in particular, the first video, do her thing, and that was really, really special. I think Vivian's a very powerful card. So regardless, I enjoy this video, uh, or this, uh, this deck. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please make sure to check out all the links in the description below. The new Patreon rewards are available right now, so uh, if you're looking to pick those up, they are Force of Negation, Vivian Monster's Advocate, which was in this deck, uh, and then Golos Tireless Pilgrim. Uh, all really, really great cards, so very happy with the, the turnout this time. Uh, and again, the patrons actually vote on that, so uh, if, you're, if you're interested in kind of having a say, uh, you, can, you can do that via Patreon. You just have to be a patron already, so just a heads up. Uh, but thank you guys very, very much for watching, and I'll see you very soon with another gameplay video.